successful lawyer based in Chicago with huge investments in real estate but also with deep convictions about Christ and his passion for the gospel. Spafford was married and had five children, one boy and four girls. The Spafford family was hit by tragedy when Spafford lost his son. Shortly after that, in 1871, the Chicago fire accident consumed most of Spafford's investment in real estate. Financially, Spafford was crumbling. The 1873 economic crisis also hit Spafford very hard. Spafford and his family were downcast. And Spafford thought a trip abroad would lighten the mood of the family. So Spafford decided to take the family to England for a holiday but also for them to attend the evangelistic crusade of D.L. Moody, the great evangelist. Spafford had some business to finish in his office, so he booked a ship to take his wife and four daughters ahead to England, and he had to join them a few days afterwards. While at sea, the ship had an accident and Spafford's four daughters died. Just the wife survived. Upon arrival in England, Spafford's wife sent him a telegram with these words. Saved alone, what shall I do? Spafford was broken. He had lost his son, lost lots of real estate, lost in business, and now he had lost four daughters. So immediately Spafford booked another ship to join his wife in England to console her. As they set sail, when they got to the point where the ship wrecked or called, the sailor indicated to Spafford that this is the point where your daughters died. 
in his deep grief, Spafford dug into his well of faith. And that is where, while on this ship, Spafford wrote this hymn. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to know, it is well, it is well with my soul.
down into your well of belief that whatever the storms in life how much they buffet how much they hit hard it is well it is well with your soul it is 